All right, ready? I'm ready. Pshaw! All right, well, welcome to the V2 Manus Claw Ladder video. It's pretty sweet. We've been wanting to do something like this for a while. So this is the claw, obviously, and these are the hooks. And this will all make sense in the context of the ladder. So first step, the Manus Claw Kit ships unassembled, or you might already have the ladder because this is retrofitable to all of our previous ladders. Um, and you can basically just pop these caps off. It's that easy. Um, and drop this guy in. So you can see this guy has like a little slotted track here. And inside of the ladder, there's a little pin. So that guy slots into the pin, just like this. And then once it's in there, you just want to spin it until it clicks. You just want to hear that clicking noise. So we'll do it again. So that little slotted system going towards that pin, push it down there. Once you hear the click, you're good to go. So here's the cool part about the V2 Manus Claw Ladder. So this is the stored position. You basically just run both of these internally. Um, when you want to open it for deployment, you basically push down on the edges. The little red part stays constant. You just push down on the edges, spin at 90, now it pops in place. So for those of you that were having issues with having your shoes rubbing against the paint of your car, um, or just wanting to get a more vertical ladder uh, alignment, this solves that for you. So, as you can see, you now have hooks. What do they hook to? The V2 camper has no hooking interface. Um, the V1 ladder does have a hooking interface, but this is also compatible with the V1. This is what they hook into. So basically, you've got that, Manus Claw, Manus Claw receiver, voila, you're there. So obviously we'll go ahead and mount these two attachment points onto the camper and I'll show you what that looks like. Uh, basic rough process here. All of our accessories with T-nuts do not ship with a plate, but they do ship with Loctite, which is what the plate is for. Because Loctite's messy. It also tastes sweet, but it's not edible. Pop your little kit free and just a dab will do it. So I like to go ahead and pre-apply Loctite on all these bad Johnnies. So we'll go ahead and do that. While I'm doing this, I'd like to take a moment to note how awesome these hooks are. When the engineers first showed me, I thought they had purchased them from somewhere else. Not because they were so awesome, only because I was so confused what they were. Check this out. Like, it's just such a nice thing. I haven't been this excited about a ladder since I saw the little giant for the first time. So we have all the T-nuts, four of these as well. We'll measure the gap interval here. So, and I guess I'll grab a tape measure and show you. Now that you have a tape measure in hand from your handy local crane, it looks like it is 15 and a quarter-ish on center. So we'll go ahead and get these set up. Spaced at 15 and a quarter on center. You can see there is an attachment point for each bolt to go through and each T-nut. So we'll go up to the camper and I'll get a little ladder because I'm short and this truck is tall. Come over here. So if you're not familiar with these T-nuts, they spin to go 90. So they can be entered at any point in between other stuff, wherever. So on this guy right here, I'm gonna mount the T-nuts into the middle, the middle track. So one, two, and then I'll kind of just get that up there to look and ensure correct spacing. So we nailed it. So we'll get this guy started. And the key here is just ensuring that the T-nuts spin. 
and you can kind of sneak in from the sides and look at it. So these fasteners are all aluminized zinc to prevent galvanic corrosion on dissimilar metals interfaces. What that means is the coating's kind of thick in a normal 530 seconds Allen key here. Um, you might find that it's a tight fit. The reason is, is because of that coating. Uh, but that coating is also what prevents it from corroding um, permanently onto your product. So what I like to do is kind of get these snug, making sure that they're still spun 90 degrees so you can actually see that visually from the back side. And I can still move this around if I want to, but I'll leave this one here loose for now. We'll get the other one, measure that 15 and a quarter aforementioned center distance. And uh, once we confirm that, we'll actually test fit the hook ladder onto it and then tighten them down. Oh my lord. First one was easy. If you're without tape measure, you don't even really need one. You can actually just go ahead and set your distance. I'm gonna make it so I can get in with my door still being able to open on my SUV. That'll be sweet. Let's go all the way down. So if I go too far this way, it'll block my rear passenger door and I got car seats back there. That would be a pain. See that? Try not to move them too much, but you're good. So we'll go ahead, tighten these again, ensuring that you keep these things spinning 90 degrees. So the T nuts, if they don't spin all the way, they'll just fall out and your ladder won't work. So I'm gonna tighten this one. You now have a datum. We'll go in for a final fit. Oh yeah, look at that. And these only need to be snug. <laughs> snug, not over tight. So that was, that, was, that was pretty light. So just kind of get in there and get every one of those. You go too tight and you'll just bend the wings on those T-nuts. Five minute install, one out of five stars for difficulty. So normally I climb up my tire to get up there. So I don't have a ton of experience using a ladder but I will now because this ladder is sweet. Snug like a bug in a rug. So that's pretty much it, you know. Might even correct his security go around and snug that guy up. Word about the ladders. So right now, this is as tight as it can be without being too close to the vehicle. Some people try to start to rake these things out too much and they're not designed for that. So keep it as vertical as you can. Um, the other cool thing about this ladder system is it helps on uneven surfaces just because it's a lot more secure. So if you're kind of like a little cattywampus parked in the swamp, this should be a little bit better for you. But I think that's pretty much it. So when you're going ahead and taking it down, all you have to do is pop this guy free, lift it up. It'll come down. Perfect. Get this guy out of here, wrap it around. Undeploy your claws, you're good to go. This thing stores in the back of your car, provided it isn't full of recycling like mine is. That's it. Manus Clod. Oh yeah, uh, available as a whole kit or just the hooks. Like I said previously, the hooks are retrofitable to existing ladders. Have a great day. Cut.